What is going on guys, Casual Savage here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to add an echo in Sony Vegas. Now just before I get into this video, I'd like to say this is a requested tutorial as you'll see on the screen right now. With that being said, if you'd like to request a tutorial, then be sure to leave it in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. So as you can see, I have Sony Vegas open up right now and this is the project to my Rode Podcaster vs Rode NT-USB review. So we're going to be adding on an echo right here, so let's just play through the normal part. The Rode Podcaster was released on the 9th of February 2007. It's priced at £147, reduced from £159. Okay, so there's a bit of it. And from after I've said this part on the 9th of February 2007, so after I've said the release date, that's when I want to add an echo. And you'll also be able to hear the echo as well. So I'm going to press S on my keyboard. And then it's priced at £147, reduced from £159. After I said the price, I want to split the clip again because where I mentioned the price, that's where I want to add the echo. So I'm going to select this button right here. So from here, make sure you are selected on all and then select reverb. So just double click it, select OK. And this is what you should get. Now as you'll see it says reverberation and is set to rich hall. And these are loads of different presets you have for this echo effect. So let's just play through what rich hall sounds like. The Rode Podcaster was released on the 9th of February 2007. It's priced at £147, reduced from £159. And as you can tell there was a big difference there. And of course you can change the settings yourself completely up to you which one you pick. And as you'll see there are a ton of different things. So let's go for a deep hall this time. Let's X out a bit and play it through. February 2007. It's priced at £147, reduced from £159. So there is a bit of a difference there. Now, I'm just going to take this effect off. And let's say you want the effect to be on one entire audio track. How do we do that? Well, on that track, you select this button right here, which is Track Effects. Come up here and you'll see it says Plugin Chain. Select this. From here, you want to select Reverb. OK. And again, it's the same thing. Reverb, you can pick any which one that uh, you like. So for example, this time let's go for the long haul, just X out of it. And now this entire track, anything that is on this track will be reverb. So let's test it out. Microphone, one ring mount microphone stand, one USB cable. Some other features, as you can see. And just to prove it's only gonna be on this track that is reverb, let's go onto this track and let's see what this sounds like. T-USB. It was released on the 11th of August 2014. Okay, let's drag it onto the reverbed audio track and let's play this now. Good NT USB. It was released on the 11th of August 2014. So as you can see, it is that simple. You can either add it onto a clip separately or you can add it onto the entire audio track. Very simple to do. Anyway, that's it for this video. Like I mentioned at the start of the video, if you'd like to request a tutorial, then be sure to leave it in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate, and peace.